I am a huge James Bond fan. One of the reasons is because of the cool gadgets. The coolest of all Bond gadgets is his spy watch. In this episode, I'm going to review a James Bond-like spy watch called the CVSLI-21. So you're good to go. I installed a new operating system, also updated all your critical software and gave you antivirus and anti-spyware. Okay, great. Anything else? Actually, do you mind coming to the garage? You built a homemade human teleport and got your son's DNA crossed over a mosquito. Kicking myself. Uh, his mom's coming at six, so if you could... If you could I'll get my stuff. When it comes to tech stuff, there's nothing we haven't seen. Go ahead, use us. Support Bauer Power and get your in-laws and friends off your back at the same time. When your mom asks you to do virus cleanup, send her to the URL on your screen so she can learn how the Geek Squad can help her with computer repair, home television installation and setup, iPhone configurations, and more. Welcome to episode 17 of Bauer Power. I, of course, am Paul Bauer, a.k.a. Twitter.com slash Pablo. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a review of a seemingly cool watch that my wife gave me for Christmas called the CBSL i21 from Amazon. Mm, such a touch. I first mentioned this watch on my blog in my top 10 geeky Christmas wish list. I wanted it because it reminded me of a James Bond watch. You know, like the laser watch in GoldenEye or the magnetic slash saw watch from Live and Let Die. So first let's talk about the features uh, the watch has. It has uh, 8 gigs of USB storage. Um, it comes with this little USB cable. Uh, you pull out the little side here like this and you plug it in like that and then this obviously goes in the computer and you use it like any other USB drive. Uh, two, it shoots AVI video at 640 by 480 at 20 frames per second. Um, and then it's supposed to have some kind of image capture so you can take uh, snapshots, but that's bullshit. Um, I, I could never get that to work and then in the directions it, it doesn't even say that that's possible. So uh, on Amazon it says it takes JPEG images, but in real life I don't see that happening. I might be wrong though. You weren't even close. Next, let's talk about what I like. Uh, number one, it has eight gigs of storage. That's more than most of us are carrying around normally in a USB stick. I mean, yeah, some of you guys have your 32 gig USB sticks, but you know, I only have like a four. I have a couple of four giggers, uh, but eight gigs. Uh, that's that's pretty big, I think, in the USB world. Um, you know, normally, I guess. You know, like I said, some of you guys have bigger ones, uh, but size doesn't matter. It's not the sort of question a gentleman answers. Anyway, um, next, I, I, I like that it looks really cool. Um, it looks like a watch that maybe James Bond would actually wear himself. Right? By the way, that's a particularly handsome watch you're wearing, Mr. Bond. It kind of looks fancy. I think you could probably wear this with a suit. Uh, you know, you could definitely wear it to work. I wore it for a, for a while, um, you know, because it, like it looks like a normal watch. It doesn't look like a spy watch, and that's what a spy watch should look like, right? Watch. Ah, a new model. Still press here, do I? And like I said, it's very nondescript, uh, so nobody knows that it's a camera. So you can just act normal and take pictures and nobody knows nobody knows the difference so that's what I really like about it now let's talk about what I don't like and trust me this list is a little bit longer Holy shit! first there's no audio 
All right, there's a mic, but all you hear is the ticking of the watch. Uh, two, it's very poor craftsmanship. Um, after about a week of wearing it, I got a crack um, in the faceplate. All right, we'll get a zoom in of that here. And then also, uh, like a day later, after the crack showed up, the watch band broke overnight, okay? I woke up one morning, I reached over to my nightstand, and I picked up the watch, and the watch band was busted, just sitting on my nightstand overnight. Do please try and return some of this equipment in pristine order. Okay, now I'm sure something else happened, but uh, but it, that morning it, it was broken, okay? And I don't know how it happened. So, like I said, really shoddy craftsmanship. Um, I mean, I've had this Seiko for the last 10 years, and it doesn't even have a scratch on it. So I wear this for a week, and I get a crack in the faceplate. That's, that's just... That's unacceptable. Um, number three, the, instruct the instructions are written in, in the worst English. I pronounced that correctly. English ever. Okay, hey, yo, chili, nigga, fun. okay. Uh, the watch is made in <clears throat> uh, China or Bangladesh or something. Obviously in a country where English is their second language. And I'm actually thinking that English is probably their third or fourth language by the way the instructions are written. Okay, very hard to understand. Very hard to, uh, you know, figure out what the hell they're trying to say so you can make this thing work correctly. Um, and then four, it's awkward to put in the right position to show straight up and down, right? Um, like, like the video is here. Uh, to do it, you have to kind of have it, you're watching in like this, your fist up, thinker pose maybe style. So at a restaurant, maybe you sit there, you know, if you're filming people next to you, you have to kind of sit there in this thinker pose which, you know, doesn't look very natural after a while. So, I, I don't know, I think it would be better if it was like hands by your side or maybe uh, straight up and down this way. That would be a lot better, but instead it's like this. So, that, that completely just sucks. Good God. So, what's the conclusion? Well, my conclusion is this thing sucks, okay? Don't waste your money on it. Um, honey, if you're watching, um, don't take it personally. After all, I'm the one who wanted it in the first place. You're like boys with toys. Know of a better spy watch with better craftsmanship and quality? Hit us up in the comments or shoot me an email at info at bowerpower.net. <laughs>